All clear. Dispatch, enjoy your ride. take you on a vlog vlog. So here we are today at Universal Studios Florida. It is raining and it's downpouring, but I'm gonna go in and get you some kind of a vlog either way. Um, I had to brave the storm and brave the rain, but it is what it is. As always, guys, if it's your first time to this channel, do me a favor, like and subscribe down below. Let's go inside, guys, and have some fun. It is Thanksgiving week here, full swing day before a holiday, actually. So we'll see how crowded the parks are. I mean, it's notoriously a busy week here in Florida, Thanksgiving as any holiday really is. But we'll see how the rain affects the Thanksgiving crowd. Also, being a Premier Pass holder, I do get the free Express after four, which is a great perk of the annual pass here. Hey, let's go see what good old Uni has to offer today. Now, today's not gonna be the Christmas video. I'm gonna come back and actually do a grinch miss video within the next few weeks or so. But, I, I do wanna point out, this is something new here. They never had this garland at the entranceway here. Right at Welcome to Universal. It is still coming down. It seems to be a rain, not a thunderstorm still. I'm not sure if the coasters will be open because there's more of a thunderstorm, but we'll see. We shall see. And I'm pretty sure these are all new. I did not see these last year, unless it's for the some. The, no, the snowflakes. Oh. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, the Mistletoe Pines Village. That's new. That I don't remember. <laughs> Looks like that tree's on fire. Oh, it actually, oh, it's part of the restaurant, I believe. The way it's, yeah, that's cool. We have Las Cosas running. There's no lightning in the immediate area. It's just raining. So we're going to head on over, get us also a ride. Um, according, and apparently, it, uh, Las Cosas runs 10 miles an hour faster than the rain to make it over the top hat safely. So I'm excited for that. Let's go rock and roll. Christmas is in full swing. Like I said, I'm gonna take you guys back in the next two weeks or so to bring you a full Grinch Miss video and all that good jazz, but thanks to see the decorations are out and about. Right here in the marketplace as our adventure begins, we did see Velocicoaster going over the top ad, so it's gonna be kind of a priority right now. Let's get over to Velocicoaster and rock and roll. Alrighty, folks, we found ourselves at the T of Velocicoaster here. Just stopped raining. Apparently this is the fastest it's gonna run. Let's go and rock and roll. This is a 60 minute posted standby queue now, but it's at the four o'clock and we have premiere, so we do get to use the express lane here from Velocicoaster. This wonderful, intimate, beauty of a blitz coaster. Let's go. More heights. One of the most impressive animatronics, in my opinion. Good old blue. Doing blue. Excellent time as always there on Velocicoaster. I didn't feel fast, the rain didn't stop, so whatever. I, I think they didn't put it back down normal, but always a wonderful time. Great night ride, instant classic. They got a 30th anniversary Jurassic Park Christmas tree here. Very nice. Like I said, I'm not trying to give you too much Christmas stuff today, but just wanted to show you that really quick. Very cool. Already finished off the Lost the Coast. We're gonna head now. It's only an hour wait for Hagrid's, so to get a night ride on Hagrid's for an hour, I think it's gonna be worth it. I only have one technical night ride on Hagrid's since when I rode it at six o'clock in the morning, it was still dark out, but I wouldn't call that a night ride per se. So yeah, let's go brave the line of Hagrid's. I'm not in really any rush. Let's go do that, yeah. So yeah, it's posted 80. Let's, uh, it was said 60 on the app, but it's posted 80. Let's see. Generally speaking, it's a little bit longer. So, I mean, it's never never as long as a post, and so hopefully it's a little bit shorter. Here we go, Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure. Well, it looks actually to be a little bit longer than most posted wait times I get here that say 80, so maybe it's about 60, I would say today. Let's still wait 60. A nice little night ride on Hagrid's. Doesn't seem too, too shabby. Yeah, it's going to be closer to an hour away for sure. We're about at the turnaround section before we get into the building. Once we get into the building, it's anywhere from about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how many trains they have. 
But yeah, almost there. It is worth a nice night ride here on here for sure. And it, it's such a long coaster too, it's definitely worth the wait. We waited about a half hour to get to this point, so maybe it's about a half hour from here more, I would say, maybe not that long. My experience is anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes once we get inside, depending. Um, you can see to the right, that's a single rider line, so definitely better off you don't opt for that option because you're gonna be waiting even longer than you would in here. The only plus with Hagrid's though, is that there is no express, so it's just eating the standby line constantly, which is nice. We waited now just about 45 minutes, so about an hour, I would say, but it's coming good. I kind of actually noticed in the Chalks they have up here. Very cool, very nice. And I do love the effect here. It's obviously pitch dark out, but here it feels, feels like it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Almost there. Yeah, it's probably closer to an 80 minute wait. It is what it is. It's still worth it though. We are moving. We're almost to the front. We're in Hagrid's little boards for right here. Just a little bit more cave action and we're right on. Yeah, it's about an hour and 10 minutes. It is actually rather accurate. It's about maybe five, 10 minutes more from this point on. And I do appreciate accurate wait times though. So thank you very much, Universal. Thumbs up. And I, I love Hagrid's, but what a night ride that was. We had a front row ride too. We lucked out. Unfortunately, you know, with Hagrid's, you actually can't row request. It just happened. We got a front row ride. And honestly, the the light on the motorbike makes the whole entire roller coaster amazing at night. And if you don't ever have a night ride on Hagrid's, I highly recommend getting there and getting yourself a night ride on Hagrid's because that was an impressive and immersive. Wow! Woo. Making our way through the Lost Continent, entering Seuss's Landing here now. Going to be heading up the B&M Classic, known as the Hulk here. Going to express the heck out of that. It is beautiful here at night. I do love Islands of Adventure at night time. I wish I had more time in this park at night. It is simply beautiful, especially overlooking all the Marvel stuff there. Wish I would do something like some kind of like nighttime show in the middle here. They have plenty of room for it. It'd be cool. It'd be cool. Love that roar of the Hulk here. Love the retrack. It's a forever coaster here. It's not crazy as far as wait times right now. It really isn't all that insane. <laughs> but the rides we want to do have higher wait times, it seems to be. Park closes today. We still got about an hour before park closes. So, nice quick universal trip today. I love it. Wow, what a great looking coaster. It really does look beautiful. I love it. And that roar. What an incredible night ride on the Hulk. That was immersive. That was in your face. I actually grayed out on the first loop there. Yeah, that was insanity. I love it. I love the Hulk. I love a good old B&M. And definitely delivered here. Heck yeah. Alrighty guys, last stop of the night is going to be at Cat in the Hat. This wonderful time let's start right close to the 10 minute standby queue. We got the Express, so we're going to skip that 10 minute standby queue. But yes, love this dark ride, timeless and classic, absolutely. Alrighty guys, about a 30 second wait and we're right at the front here. I love it. And then something went up. How that thought made us jump. We looked and we saw him stepping on the map. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. Yeah. <laughs> you make a great maze. 
Great ride on Cat and Hat as always. Exit into the classic gift shop, good old Eden theme park standards. I love this Christmas tree they have. Uh, those look beautiful. But yeah, great time as always there on Cat and Hat as we end our Universal Day, unfortunately, or Islands of Adventure Day, unfortunately. But yeah, always fun coming back for the full Grinchmas experience soon. So give you all that. Alrighty, folks, that's gonna be a wrap today here from our semi rainy day at Islands of Adventure. Great time getting back on some classic rides. Definitely got three roller coaster rides in. Very happy with that. As always, this is your first time to the channel and you're not already subscribed, do me a favor, like and subscribe down below. Until then, we'll catch you guys next time. Meet you at the Midway.